In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a full width image slider in Adobe Muse. So let's begin. Okay, this is the example that I've created for this tutorial. As you can see, we have some images. We have an image slider. If you click these buttons, the image changes. And if you make this wider, the image gets wider as well. You can actually go full screen and we have a full width image slider. Okay, so that's what we'll be creating today. And you'll also notice that the arrow keys are flushed on the left and the right, so they move with the browser. Um, so we have a full uh, width image slider there. So I'm going to open the project file. And this is the image slider right here that I created. I'm going to go ahead and delete this so we can start from scratch. And then to create the uh, full width image slider, uh, we we'll just go to Object, uh, Insert Widget, Slideshow, and we'll click Basic. Okay. So right now we can see this is not full width. If we preview in the browser, it's a little square there. And uh, actually, let me just do this here. Okay, that's better. And uh, so, so yeah, it's just a square. And if we click on it, uh, to, to make it full width, all we do is click on it until we get the little rectangles around it showing that we've selected this image. And then right up here, you'll notice that this is a, it says 100% width. This is a new tool in the new Adobe Muse CC 2014 uh, that lets you create uh, uh, images in full width uh, just by a click of a button. So if we click here, we now see that our image is full width. Click again, it's not full width anymore. So I'll show you. So right now it's at full width. And if I click on it again and preview it, it's not full width. So that's an, uh, a nice new little feature in, a, uh, in the new Adobe Muse. We do want it full width, so we'll just click uh, this button again. Now we have a full width image slider. Okay, very good. So now I just want to replace these images. I'm going to delete them. You just click on it and hit the delete button to delete them. And then to add images, you click on the little blue arrow right over here. Click add images. And I'm just going to select a few images that I like. And here, here, that should be good. And click open. I think these images are fairly large, so they're taking some time to, to load into Muse. All right, there we go. And I can even uh, change the height of this image. Let me make the height of this, this slider, this image slider, about 550 pixels in height. That's good. Now to change some of these settings, like I don't want the caption, I just want the arrow keys. Um, we'll just go in here, click on the uh, image slider, click on the blue arrow, and right over here where it says parts, you can actually select the parts that you want in this uh, slideshow. So I don't want the caption, so I'll just uncheck that. I don't want the counter. I do want the previous and next buttons. So let's, uh, let's place these in a different place on the site. We'll put them right there on the side. And is that right? Yep, there we go. Yeah, Muse gives you some guidelines to show you that these two are positioned at exactly the same position. All right, so I'm going to preview this in the browser. Hit Command-Shift-E. Now you notice the arrows are kind of in the middle of the image. Um, I want these arrows to be on the right and the left, not kind of over the image um, in, you know, kind of uh, in that awkward position over the image. So to do that, we to to place these arrow keys so that they they move with the right and the left side of the browser. Uh, what we do is we just go into Muse, we click on the button, and right up here where it says pin, you want to pin it to the right corner, right upper corner. And you just click that, and now it's pinned to the right upper corner. And you go to the left and you pin it to the left uh, corner. 
And what that does, it just pins these buttons uh, flush with the right and the left side of the browser window. So if we preview this, we hit Command Shift E. We now have those sliding buttons on the left and the right, and they work just fine. Okay, so that's it for creating a full width image slider in Adobe Muse. Uh, again, this button is a very, this new button here is a very nice feature. You could actually just put any image in here and make it full width by clicking this button, the full width, 100% width button. Uh, okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.